What's going on guys? Rob, half of Retro Gamers 717 here. And um I've been getting some requests for this video, so I'm gonna do it. You know, as you know, uh myself and Hive G's, we collect a lot of rare games, a lot of rare retro games, and um we we connect collect we collect some new gen games also um and try to determine if they'll be rare in the future as well. So um today I'm gonna try to keep it pretty organized. This is going to be part one of my latest pickups and I want to try to categorize them for systems. So this is going to be the PS1 slash PS2 latest pickups that I've grabbed. Um, and then we'll do a part two video where I'll do Xbox and Xbox 360. So I'm going to try to run through some of these fairly quickly and anything that I miss will be in part two as well. Um, so we'll start with long box games. Um, this is Lemmings pretty good um a lot of these aren't going to be like games you want to sit down and play in 2016 maybe for some of you it is but you know it's just a collection factor and we use uh rarityguide.com it's a great site where um you can check the rarity of some of these games usually anything from upwards of 70 to 98 percent is ultra rare so you can rate your games there. Um, this is Darkstalkers, Night Warriors. Pretty awesome game as well. It reminds me of uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. If you ever played that, you know, so it's like the Marvel type of games. It's a, it's a fighter. Next we have Battle Arena, Toshiden 2. And I actually have this in a protective container because it came that way. Not for any other reason except that it actually came that way. So some of these long boxes, they'll start to peel and things like that at the ends. So you got to try to protect them as much as you can. Next we have Doom. This is by far one of the nicest in the nicest condition. I got this for 15 bucks off a guy. Um, I think it was on uh, the Let Go app. I got it off of the Let Go app. And um, sometimes you'll find people on there who don't know exactly what they have. So that was a steal. Um, Crazy Ivan. And again, you'll see some of these games, they won't be like the best graphics or anything. You'll sit down and play for hours at a time, but we just add them to the collection. Air Combat. Um, don't know a lot about it. It was just higher on the rarity scale, so I picked it up. Now we have one of my classics. I still have it in the bubble wrap here. Primal Rage. Um, as a kid, I used to play this in the arcade all the time. Definitely a classic. Most of these are complete. I'm just not opening every single one because I want to get through this. Um, this was just in a bulk deal. NHL face-off. Nothing super rare about it. Um... This is actually higher on the rarity scale, Triple Play 97. Not sure why, if it's a shortage of copies or whatever. But, um, yeah, whatever. It was part of a bundle deal. Ridge Racer. Isn't like this is super rare or anything. Just a classic. I remember when PlayStation first came out. I'm pretty sure this was the launch title. And, um, man, it was like graphics I had never seen before. You know, it was amazing. So, this is just... Like a childhood memory. All right, we have loaded. This is a, in my opinion, very rare game. Um, you don't see this out a lot. And during the PlayStation One times, I've never seen this game out and about. And a classic, Twisted Metal. Love this game. Um, definitely grew up on this as well. So, like I said, I'm just trying to run through them so this isn't too long. Um, I'll, stick, I'll keep going with PlayStation 1. Gran Turismo. Most of you know this game. We're pretty familiar with it. it it's up there on the rarity scale a little bit. It's in the 70s. About 70 something percent. 75 percent or so. Pretty good game. Um, Vanguard Bandits. This is definitely a classic game. Um, can't say enough about it. You check it out on eBay. The... Uh, the auctions are ridiculous on this game, and they're continuing to rise. So, 
and then it has the glossy artwork things like that um let me see here yeah it can it comes with um a, a bonus disc that i actually don't have i actually don't have the booklet for this one either i got it for dirt cheap um Ray Fencer Musashi. This one is constantly going up. I remember this one as a kid. Um, this is complete. Has the booklet and all. Demo disc. Um, if you see this out, pick it up. It's the price is steadily going up. Um, Lunar. This was again was a pickup offline. Um, I think I used the Let Go app. Found this. Um, it it does not have the big sleeve and the big booklet, so it's not complete. But uh, you know. I mean, it has the discs in here. Again, it comes with three discs. Um, the the manual is actually a thick booklet, so I don't have that quite yet. But I've been finding loose pieces to piece it together. Here's a classic, Alundra. This is another one that's sky high. It was during the times where they made these weird, like, double din disc case. But there's no disc that actually goes here. It's just a design. And the disc is actually back here. But um, again, high gloss artwork. This is a classic. I mean, and the price is steadily going up. So if you can find this out, grab it. This one was a Goodwill pickup. I found this at the Goodwill. Again, it's that weird design. No disc goes there. Two discs here. Um, picked this up for about five bucks. I know it was under five bucks. Tales of Destiny. Now, this is one that the price is getting ridiculous for this thing. Um, shouts out to Hob G's. He actually is very instrumental in some of the pickups I get here. You know, if I'm not getting it at the time, he'll send me the money. Say, man, add it to our collection. You know, because we collect together. Um, Xeno Gears. Classic. Grew up on it. This one and two. Complete. Um, no collection is complete without it. It's definitely a classic game. Um, let's see here. I have some more PS1. So, recently picked these two up. Bushido Blade 1 and 2. Definitely classics in my eyes. Again, games I grew up on. You know, as you can see, they're complete. But, um, definitely worth getting. Um, a lot of these games, guys, they're, they're becoming more scarce and scarce as time goes on. You're not going to find them that common anymore. Um, here's one, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Great condition. Definitely a classic. Anything, I'll tell you right now, anything Capcom. Anything Capcom, you want to try to pick up. Capcom games, for some reason, are very becoming very scarce. Certain titles. Uh, let me show you. Another one of my Capcom favorites. I'm, I'm looking for it. Give me one second. Um, where is it at here? I'll be having so many. Here it is. Street Fighter versus X Men. I had this in the plastic. This right here is going for crazy prices online right now. So if you can come across this. I came across this at a local shop and they were selling it for cheap. I had to grab it. Again, one of those Capcom classics. Uh, let's see here. This is another one. Vandal Hearts 2. This is steadily rising. Um, I don't know how much of you guys are into If you're into RPGs, you're aware of some of these games I'm showing you. If not, look it up. The price alone will pique your interest classics dino crisis one and two definitely again capcom this was like a resident evil type game with dinosaurs uh, let's see found these two at a thrift store soul divide which i never played this before tom and jerry's house trap both uncommon very uncommon games um Another classic right here, King of Fighters 99. Classic, grew up on this. Uh, let's see. Spider Man 1 and 2. Um, definitely classics. Find those out, pick them up. They, those aren't relatively expensive. Uh, 
right, let me get all of these here. So, these are the Resident Evils I have. I don't have the long box version, but um, I'll have it sooner or later. It's the Director's Cut, Greatest Hits. Even the Greatest Hits is held in high regard for this um, version of Resident Evil. I don't collect too many Greatest Hits games either, so I made an exception for that. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 has a Dino Crisis demo in there. That's funny. So that's the demo in there. It's kind of falling apart. You can always replace the CD case once you have the game. Um, another classic, Digimon World. Um, again, and some of these I don't. Some of these I I don't play. They just I just add them to the collection. Uh, let's see. Breath of Fire. Again, another Capcom game. A great RPG. Uh, I have Medieval here. This is part one. I, I don't have part two. But um, I eventually have it. Now, here's a funny story behind this one. Um, as you can see here, I got it from a store called Second to Charles. And it says, Rough Disc. So they put $5.50 on this game. This game right here, Mega Man Legends 2, there is no Greatest Hits version. So usually games like that are in higher demand because there is no Greatest Hits version. You can't pick, pick up you can't pick up a cheaper version. You have to buy the original. And um, in my opinion, I mean, there's a little scratch there. But um, I played it. It works fine. So for $5, this game right here is going anywhere from $40 to $70 like this. Without any instructions, without the manual, just the disc. So it's worth, you know, when you come across things like that, it's worth it. Uh, it's another Digimon Rumble Arena one. Definitely classic. And let me talk about this one. Valkyrie Profile. Very, very expensive right now. Look this up as soon as this video is done and you'll see what I mean. Classic game. Hard to find. No less than probably 150 bucks, but I found this on a heck of a deal. Look out for this one. Final Fantasy Tactics. Classic game. Another classic. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with RPGs, like I said, some of these you're probably drooling at right now. Um, Batman Beyond. Return of the Joker. Definitely one to look out for. Um... Alien Resurrection. There's a long boss version of this too. Tomb Raider 1. Another classic. Let me straighten these up before they go crazy here. Um, I'm just trying to pick out some of the best ones. Um, Batman and Robin. Look out for that one. Definitely a classic. Um, and any everything Final Fantasy I have, Final Fantasy Anthology, which is like um, all the old Final Fantasy games, um, just two of them, Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI. Um, let's see. I have Final Fantasy Chronicles. And like I said, some of these cases aren't in the best condition, but... Um, I go for the condition of the games, and as long as they're complete, I can always come across cases. Those are common. Final Fantasy VII. And what's funny about this one, this is the unique copy. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let me find it. This is the best print. See where my thumb is, where it says Masterpiece? It's the rare misprint. Final Fantasy 9, definitely a classic. Final Fantasy 8. And and these these last few Final Fantasies, at one time the price was sky high, but they're relatively cheap now. So you definitely want to pick those up. Uh, Vampire Hunter D. Definitely a rarity. Um, I don't know if you, you guys have seen the anime, but uh Pretty good game. 
Uh, let's see. I'll show you like a few more. Vagrant story. Again, just like Capcom, anything by Squaresoft is usually a good game. This is a classic RPG right here. Um, here's another Squaresoft copy right here. Parasite Eve. I do not have Parasite Eve 2, but uh, we'll have it eventually. Um, Blade. Um, love the movie. It's definitely a classic made by Marvel. Good movie. Game's alright. And um, what I'm going to do is um, in the next video, I will begin to show the PS2 since it's so many. I have so many games. Um, so I'll do a part two for PlayStation. And um, I throw this little oddball in here today when I just picked up. This is uh, Super Mario 25th anniversary. Now, I was told I have a friend who owns a video game store. So that's another way I get some of my great deals. But um, he told me this came out with the Red Wii, the 25th anniversary edition. Um, I didn't know that. He just sold it to me for a couple of bucks. Um, yes, Super Mario soundtrack. Can't really see the back because it's red and gold. But um, yeah, so I figured, what the hey. This will be great to have. And um, that's pretty much it for now, guys. Um, Y'all get in the comment box and yell at Hob G's. And he has a much larger PlayStation 1 collection than I do. And I, I pretty much have the bigger PlayStation 2 collection. But um, get in the comment box, yell at him, and tell him to get his uh, video up here soon for you guys. And um, I'll be back with my next video here. So like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for your time, and um, we'll see you on the next one. And while I got you here, hit that subscribe bell right above the subscribe button so that when we make these posts and put these videos up for you guys that uh, you can stay in tune with us and you'll be alerted so you can check them out. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.